You know, Mahoney, I'd like to spend the next month breaking you into little pieces. But I won't, because you're bad. You're bad for morale, Mahoney. Oh, you, you look like the sweet little boy from next door. <laughs> but you don't fool me, oh no, no. You're the devil, and you're rotten to the core, and you're ruining my chances of training some men who might make pretty good cops. I agree, sir. I've been saying that all along. You make me sick. Thank you, sir. I make everybody sick. We're going to pick up this telephone, and we're going to call your buddy, Captain Reed, and you, you are going to help me talk him out of this terrible mistake. Terrific. I'll do my part, sir. You're damn right you will. Ha. Yes, this is the Academy. I'd like to speak to a Captain Reed. Reed. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Captain Reed. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how are you, sir? Uh, this is Lieutenant Harris. Lieutenant Thaddeus Harris out of the police academy. I'm so sorry to disturb you, sir. Uh, but your friend, I guess, my whole would like to speak with you. Just one moment, please. Oh, Tony! Oh, yeah. Hi, Captain Reed. Can I get out of here? No? Okay. Captain Reed, um, uh, thank you so much. Yes, uh, bye. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know why you're here. But you'll never be a cop as long as I live. I don't want to be. Get your butt off my desk and get out of here. Mahoney! I've already told you once, nobody screws with me. Well, maybe you'll meet the right girl and all that'll change. Get out of here now! <laughs> <laughs>